Academic activities in UI came to a halt as a senior staff association of Nigeria University's SANU and the non-academic staff union NASU UI chapter commenced on a three-day protest to demand 30 billion naira in allowance. They are protesting against federal government's alleged refusal to obey court judgment on staff school salaries. The chairman, UI SANU Wale Akinremi, said a three-day protest will be followed by a branch protest and at the national level, which will shake the corridors of power to its foundation. In his words, the National Vice President and NLC Comrade Adeshino Alfred Jimo urged the federal government to, as a matter of urgency, release the 30 billion naira for non teaching staff. The protest that we are having here is on a number of issues that have been lingering in the Nigeria University system. Prime among them is the issue of uh, our members in the staff school which government has tactically deleted from the payroll of the universities since 2014-15. And uh, we have an agreement covering them. And the government uh, argued about the agreement, the interpretation of the agreement, and decided to take SANU as a union to uh, court over it. And the court has ruled that the position of SANU is the position of the law. And since December, 5, 2016, this judgment of the National Industrial Court has been out and government has been dilly-dallying over it and our members are suffering. He maintained that the protest was aimed at sending a notice of strike to the federal government and called on its members to ensure full compliance with the directive in order to show its relevance to the university system. We are using this one also to send a last signal to government that if the needful are not done, over these issues that we are highlighting, the university system may suffer another industrial action, which we will not be happy to throw the university system to because this is where we earn our living. Our children also are here. We don't enjoy, you know, uh, locking the gates of the university, withdrawing our services. But many a times government pushes us to that level. Anu Akomolafe, ITV News.